Hi there, it's Potmos. Nice of you to join. Well, it's Russia again, so let's get time rolling. Let's improve our nation. So, with 104 years to go, I'm slowly looking forward to the end game. And probably a part of the end game will be going to war with the Ottomans. Right now isn't a smart move, but in the end, well, if Austria joins and Hungary joins, we might even have a chance. So yeah, I'm just looking into options. Well, for now it's not going to happen of course, but well, it may uh, happen at any time. Our current air is cruel. Well, that's not that good. How many points do we have? Right. Let's keep it going. Let's see our technologies. Well, we are... Others are way stronger than us, tech-wise. Yeah, especially the Ottomans, so we have to be playing catch-up. Well, let's do so. We can corrupt officials, build a grand shipyard. Not sure why, but, well, apparently we can. Let's restore the religious unity in our nation. And let's check, because, well, it's looking okay. It's looking at okay. Unhalt. Well, can't offer him vassalization, which is a pity. Would be nice if we could. Well, that's fine for now. So, he isn't ahead in military tech, which is good, because that would be awful if he was ahead in military tech, but... Well, he's still ahead in the others, and we don't have the best... Sarina. Unfortunately. Alright. Well, that's interesting. Local Andres minus two. That probably. Well, that could mean that some of the rebels will go away. Which is rather interesting. But. Well, let's see, what can we do? Well, not much, because we don't have plenty of money. Should we save up? It's gonna be costly. Should we finish this up? Then our land force limit will go up by a lot, and attrition will go down. Could be an interesting one. Let's just do that. We'll have a bigger land force limit. And we'll just wait. Hopefully, in the end, we can start implementing the last institution. We are getting close to the 10% mark, and then we'll have to see what it's going to cost. It's probably going to cost us a lot. So, we'll have to see about that. So, we have alliances with Hungary, Anhalt, and Austria. So, perhaps we should seek out people to attack. We don't have any problems right here, right now. We could just attack these guys. Either do the Imperialism one, or the Holy War one. Well, they're basically the same, but this one lowers the costs as well, and this one doesn't. So we could just go with this one. Nobody will join in. But we should be stronger, and uh, we can just check. The military of the Mahayapit. Where is he? He has 29,000 men. He's behind on military tech, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think we have the best leader, so... I think we should just go for it. Would be interesting to see. It appears she also has rebels, which is good for us. So yeah, let's declare war. Do the imperialism one. See what we can capture. Lead out there. Well, we join up these two fleets, that is no problem. Gaining any money? Well, we are. Not the amounts I want, but we are gaining money, which is interesting. Well, probably got rid of the rebels, which is, well, 
guess he did a good job with that. Well, we could go. Are we going to save up? Also for the coring we need to do, so... Taking dead idea is not an option. That's for sure. You have enough manpower, so that's... Also not going to be an issue. There he is, that's good. We want the siege here. Let's continue. And let's see if we can slaughter his army soon. Ooh, oh, that's going fast. He has a little bit more cannons than us. Which isn't to our benefit, but I think we should be able to just nail him. Yep. He will be the attacker, so that's to his problem. Yep, that's looking good. Well, that was a decisive blow. I think we should just go straight after him. Good news. Ooh, well, that's very good news. Ooh, this is also good news. Let's just wait. Get a small army and take all those provinces. Yep. That's looking good. Ooh, he has a lot of ships there, so we'll have to be careful, but... I think we'll be able to manage. Alright, you guys go there. This is gonna be taken soon, so... We can just go there. We can go there. These two can go down there. Yep, that's looking okay. Well, I like the way this is heading. in the same spot. Well, let's really start fighting. Alright. Well, let's just select our big army. Guess we need to get some ships there. In order to cross. As it appears. Or is it the complete island? I don't know. They have a passing to Lombok, but that's it. So yeah, it's a complete island. All right. All right. So, well, I think we took enough anyway. We can just try and get a peace deal. Let's see how good a deal can we get. Well, this appears to be a pretty good peace deal. Get money from him. And this rivalry. Well, that's not really supposed to happen. We can get war reparations. And, well, it's going to cost us, but we're going to get some good provinces from it as well, so... I think I like this deal. Alright, let's send it. Thank you. 43, 32, 34, 32, 32. So this brought us a lot of development, which is actually really good. Minor rebel problems, of course, but nothing we can't deal with. And, yeah, I like this. Let's multiply our fortresses. Well, overextension is high, but not too high. Although now it says 99%, it wasn't that. I thought it didn't say that. I guess we probably left the province we should have caught earlier. Well, it's fine like this. I mean, we gained quite a bit of... Uh, what do you say? Colonialism. Alright. Oh, Castile changed into Spain. Interesting. Russia. Well, we have quite a good development. We're getting close to the Ottomans, which is nice. Being announced as their rival. Do we have rivals? Yeah. Plenty of rifles, so... Can't change it. Wish I could. Alright. Saxony wants to hire Condotieri. Well, we're not gonna rent them out. We're losing money because of rooting out corruption. Because of all the provinces we got. Well... 
we will be able to deal with that. That's not going to be a problem. I think we can get rid of this fortress anyway. That should probably solve our money issues in a way that, well, at least now we're making money again. We don't have too many fortresses, but... I guess we still have a few, though, and... I hmm. don't really know why we have these fortresses. They're not really a big threat. Ming is still very powerful. I thought Ming would collapse at some point, but apparently not. I thought if you were like... Uh, you play with Ming as a human player, you have a chance of making sure it won't break down, but I thought, well, since it's computer played, it will probably fall, but no, it doesn't. And still has a lot of tributaries, which isn't good for us. I mean, if you go to war with one, you will just go to war with everyone. Well, something I don't like. Shampoo also a tributary? No. Alright, well that's better. How are the Ottomans doing militarily? Because, well, yeah, they have a lot of manpower again. And a very strong, big army. So if we want to go to war with them, we need a lot of countries in. Well, if we bring in Spain and Hungary, we are pretty even, but I don't know how they are doing military-wise. Well, Hungary and Austria are stronger military-wise. If you just, just look at tech, so that could be interesting. National tax modifier going down. But only five years shorter. Well, that's good. Let's do that. Of course, I would like all the money I can get. But, well, if you can't get more, just do it like this. Now, we are looking forward to... Oh, well, we should be able to make states already here could be really interesting. Well, not with these provinces, because they don't have much. But what if I create a state here? Oh, we should make course first, and then we can state them. And if we do, probably have high maintenance, but should also have high income. That's something I would like. Because of these provinces, they are really good. Should probably have high income then. Well, at least that's something we can try. Well, Mahayapit are trying to grow. Smart, of course. Smart choice. We took a lot, so... Ooh, we got a treasure fleet. Interesting. It raises... our inflation, but... Uh, that's fine for now. Ooh. We have a hundred, so now there was something we could do that I would like. Corrupt officials, sabotage reputation. And I think if you do that one, it will lower their oh, their the diplo reputation. There's supposed to be one that gives them more unrest. Well, at least they did it to us. Oh well, let's do that one. We can also lower his reputation. Oh, we have unlocked an achievement. Interesting. And lower the Diplo reputation. Let's do so. Care less. Are they losing? Who are they fighting? Japan! Well, he's trying to get somewhere in Japan, I guess. Took over a province, and one in there. But it says Japan is still winning. Ooh, the course came in, that's splendid. Ooh, well, I wonder what Japan's doing, but it's looking interesting. Good for us if they just get into a fight. How is Spain doing with all his colonies? Well, some have a raising liberty desire, that's interesting. Abolish the Patriarch, lose a hundred authority. Leave the Patriarchate alone. We could get extra tax, 
Well, let's just leave them alone. I think that's better. Now we can select one of these. Let's do the unrest one because, well, I don't want all that unrest in my version. Alright, how are we looking? Oh yeah, so we just need a lot of money. But it's spreading, which is good. Let's make sure it keeps spreading. In the meantime, we should look for another target. Because, well, soon the Maya Yapit Rebels will come. But once that's over, we'll be looking fine. And then, well, we could probably just go for the Passai. But they are allied with Jean Peru. That's a problem for us. Especially if he joins, and he will. How's Brunei looking? Does he have any allies? No. Well, I do have a good fleet. I can just take this army across, so probably just need to check the army of Brunei. Well, he has a decent army. What's his tech level? 20. Alright, so we should be able to do something against him. He is growing. That's also not too good for us. And I think we have a colonist incoming, yes. And we have a free merchant. Still don't completely get the whole merchant thing. Don't really know where to put it, but... Well, this will be upstream, so that's never good. You should always put stuff downstream. So I'll just send it there. Let's hope that brings in a lot more money. I uh, highly doubt it, but, well, at least we're trying. Ignore them or lose 50 Diplo. Well, let's lose the prestige. That's fine for now. Probably. Well, not really good provinces out here. Too good for us. So let's continue here. Let's send him over there. Alright. Well, we have an ability. Oh, we have all abilities. Now it's nine provinces that can lower autonomy, which is good. I don't really need to use that one. Don't know why. Let's save that one for a time of war. Alright, are we getting close to taking new techs? Well, I want this one, not that one. But we can see if we can actually demand powers. Demand admin. Yeah, we can. We can make a generous donation, make him like us more. Or we could seek support and then see if we can get a hundred. See, now we can get a hundred. That's good. A hundred admin points. I like that. Well, if we call a diet, we can also demand military support. Very good. And another colony completed. Well, let's send him out then. Let's see. Oh yeah, this brought us close to getting a new tech. A counting house. Well, not really sure what I need a counting house for yet, but... I think we should save some money, at least, for our institution. Though it's gonna be very costly, so perhaps we should just... ...seek what buildings we can get that make us money. Let's check. Well, can't build a counting house yet. Apparently. It's just free there, but can't build it. Your problem. Alright, well, fine. Well, then I don't really do. Well, that's bringing in a lot of money. This is good money as well. So let's do it like that. Let's just spend that money. We need to. Nice. Alright, he made a peace deal with Japan. Did he gain anything? I doubt it. No, he didn't. Alright. Well, I didn't lose anything. I think, but robber barons. They only take what is their right, so all the burghers will be pretty pissed. Or the boyars will be pissed. Well, the boyars like us more than the burghers. So, I think we're gonna do this. Because, well, this negative number will soon turn positive, because anything that's lower than 40 will just go up. Alright, we can take the new tech, which is good. We can have build a counting house, we can have extra states if we want to. We don't have the admin points for it, but... 
basically we should be able to do that. Rebels, are they still coming? Yeah, they should. Because if they came, we could go to war then. I want those rebels to spawn so I can kill them and find someone to make war to. Alright. Well, the Ottoman is still looking okay. Naval maintenance going up, morale going up, and we can build a three-decker. Don't really know why I need a three-decker. But, well, let's just do so. So now we are ahead of time, which is good. We can use those Diplo points for something else. And what's our mission? Defeat Lithuania. Well, since Lithuania doesn't exist, it just means we need to capture provinces from Hungary, which we're not going to do. So I'll probably just cancel that mission. It's been out there for a long time, but, well, we're not going to do anything with it, so... Do we have claims anywhere? We have claims in Bohemia. Declare war on him. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Can I declare war on him? Oh, yeah. Spain and the Papal State. Well, Austria, Anhalt, and Hungary will also join in. Could be interesting. Hmm. What if I go to war with the Ottomans? Austria will join, and Hungary will join. Gain one merchantilism or not. Alright. Well, let's continue converting to the right faith. Let's continue getting colonies. Hungary insulted us. That's not nice, my friend. But let's improve relations with him. Maybe that'll help. And I should probably soon improve my relations. Him is with Austria as well. Sabotage recruitment or steel maps. All right, well, let's steal a map. The Arabian Sea. Well, that brought everything in. Interesting. Now, let's get rid of that spy network. Don't really need it. Let's improve relations with Austria to make sure that we maintain allies. Because I want them to be my allies and to keep it like that. important to me. How are we... Ooh, a lot of things happening. How are we looking? Well, we are still in the number one spot. Because, well, the Ottomans have a high penalty in their institution spread. But we're not looking that good. I mean, we need more points. So, still work to be done. Well, don't really care. What should we do? Reclaim Kiev? Well, it's in Ottoman hands, I think, yeah. Turn Ahuri into a city, which could be interesting. Or take the province of Kalapa. Let's see, where's that? Alright, well, we own Kalapa. Well, that was an easy mission. It is clear that the Pope is no longer infallible. He has proclaimed that colonial California is to be the sole domain of Spain. Well, fine. I don't care. Establish a presence in Canada. Well, that's not going to happen, so we're going to turn that city into... Let's see, because if we make this cost us a lot of maintenance, but bring in a lot more money. So, yeah, that's probably one of the things we're going to do. But I highly doubt we're going to do it right now, because, well, I think this is a good time to end this episode. We're just going to run to the 1st of January again. Then we've played for nine years. 
and well we expand it a bit but really to think ahead of what we're gonna do with the Ottomans really want to just hurt him but he has all these good guys all the time I hate it Ooh, two years of a lot of local Ottomans well, we can deal with that for two years that's not an issue and well time speed it ahead it's the first of February now but this is a good time to stop for now so thank you very much for watching I hope you did enjoy it and well if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that's a big support and I hope to see you in the next episode bye bye